Gay Low Gay. It is Ronan the Traveler. Man, tonight, let's get into this video, man. Brothers asking about this in the group. Brothers emailing me about this, man. How to avoid getting catfish in the DR. But man, this is applicable to all places you go, man. I done been catfished in the United States. Man, you you get this fine woman hit you up on one of these dating sites on, on Tinder. You look at the, them pictures from, from 1982. When you see it, this motherfucker look like Earth the Kid. It done happened to me, man. But look, I got catfished in the DR too. And this can happen to you, man. But it was my fault because I I wasn't thinking with the right head, man. I was You're new stupid. to the island. I didn't understand how things work. So I don't want you guys to fall into this thing like I did. When I first started lining up women to uh, meet up in the DR, man, Santo Domingo to be exact, I had 20, 30 women that hit me up, man, quick. So I'm I'm running back and forth with all of them. But it was just one chick, man. You know, BBD told you, never trust a big button to smile. This woman was fine. I'm talking about, and we going back and forth. Chick looking like Beyonce when she was younger, but, but thicker. And we going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. She's like, hey, um, when you when you coming? I'm saying I'm, I'm coming. Now look, here's what the, here's how the catfish started working. First, her location said Santo Domingo, so I'm like, okay, I'll arrive and in a few days we gonna get together. She said, like, yeah. So when I get to the island, now we talking this whole time. When I get to the island, I hit her up. Now her profile says Santiago. And I know I'm not freaking tripping. Her, so I said, hey, I thought you was in Santa She said, no. It always says Santiago. So I'm like, you know, I brother do drink a lot. I could be off. So she said, baby, I want to see you. Now here's where the catfish coming in. She said, now she be going back and forth. We just texting and going like she says, uh, I'm going to come see you. But for me to get to uh, Santo Domingo, it's going to cost $150 and uh, I take the taxi. I'm not knowing about Caribbean tours yet. No, I'm new. I'm just coming to the island. I know nothing about Caribbean tours. I don't know. It just costs $9. So she said, well, look, send me the money and I'm going to come. No. The, the P-I-M-P in me is like, Ninja, don't do that. Do not do that. You're already talking to a bunch of women. I already got Dirty Diana. I got Nicole. I got... Thing, but I'm looking at this woman was even finer than them. One of the finest specimens I have ever seen. And that's another thing, man. When things uh, look too good to be true, trust your instinct. And that's one of the points. I'm going to get into some points. But look, back to the story. I lay up there and say, I knew I shouldn't have done it. But I'm like, man, I got I got thousands and thousands of dollars. This, this ain't nothing. All right, I'm going to send you the money for the cab. Man, I sent that money for the cab and... She said, okay, I'm on my way. I'll let you know. Man, after about two, three hours, I never heard nothing else from her. I end up going sleeping with <laughs> Dirty Diana and Nicole and all them and the, and the rest is history, but it taught me a lesson. So I want to explain to you a few things you got to look out for, man. I already went in to understand the catfish, man. But here's what I didn't do. This is number two. This is what you got to do. And this is the new people coming to the island. Listen, on any way you're going, Research and verify. Listen, before you start engaging with somebody online, take the time to research and verify their profiles. I keep saying vet them like they're running for office all the time. Cross reference every image, the details. So ask them first thing you ask them is say, hey, do you have a uh, give me once you get their name, do you have a Facebook? You have an Instagram? Look at all those things that's your cross reference look at them and then when you verifying these pictures and all this stuff online it's gonna tell you a, a lot about that woman if you see a little chick always in like resorts and airbnbs and she's always somewhere she's dressed up she got the latest iphone man if she don't have no good job man you she might be she might be out there selling them cookies man she might be selling that mango pie you know so you gotta look at that. Next thing, this is another important situation that would keep you from getting taken advantage of. Video calls, video calls matter. One, one of the best ways to confirm somebody's identity is through video calls, man. Seeing them in real time can help 
your mind and it will build trust. If you're not video calling with a woman, take it that it could be a man because I know multiple situations where dudes will use pictures of their sisters, cousins, or just women they get off the internet. And sometimes they will get a woman to pretend to be the person and get you to send some money or whatnot and you're done. Do not send money to nobody. Do not send them money when you're just getting to meet them. Do not. I'm telling you, man, it's that number four I was telling you again, man, trust your gut. My gut told me, man, never underestimate the power of your instinct, man. They would get you out of some situations. I know growing up, man, I used to be in certain hoods and stuff, and I get a bad feeling. I know to get the hell away from there. And anytime I told y'all, man, anytime I've never listened to myself, I got kicked in the balls. Remember, if it doesn't feel right, get the hell, make your suspicions grow, run, get away from it. Trust your gut. That's that number four. Look, this is number five, man. You can tell too. Protect your information, man. Never share personal or financial information with anybody you meeting online. You don't know this person, man. They could be building some stuff up with you, man. Yeah, you can get in situation. And this is not to you veterans. This is more or less to a lot of new guys. Because this, this channel helps new people come in. I share my mistakes. I share my wins. I share my losses. I have no shame in the game. I just call it down the middle. Next thing, no. After you've verified a few things with people, man, you know, always, man, when you when when the chick say, okay, we're gonna meet up, let's go ahead, meet them in a public place first. A restaurant, some cafe, meet them like that. I have I have took so many chances sometimes just meeting a chick and not really knowing her and tell her to just to come to my Airbnb. But I always took a precaution and tell the front desk guy to get her ID. That way we could verify how old she was. And that's why regular chicks find out what kind of stuff they own. And I always told them, if she's coming out my room without me, don't let her out. And I'll pay the dude a few dollars and that's thing. So meet him in a public place, man, because it's going to be more safe for you. Get to see what kind of person she is, man. And it's going to be just better for you, man. And look, this is another thing, man. This is another thing with that. This is number seven. And it's probably should have been number three or something. But look, I always ask for real times photo thing. You don't want none of these old photos, man. Tell them to send you some new stuff. I don't care. Have them in a pose. Tell them a whole of newspaper shit, anything. You want to see real photos of the people, man. You got real photos. It's going to help you verify that identity, man. They, these things are really good. And look, man, here's, here's, a, here's a, another pro to the game. Sometimes a lot of these chicks, they have old phones and they might, you might send them see photos of them and they don't look so hot on the photos. But when you see them in real life, even if they drop their gorgeous, man. Some of these women are way more pretty than what they photos will <laughs> show you. you. They look way better. So look, next thing, man. And these are bonuses, man. I'm just like, number eight, seek local insights. Like, Knowing people that's on the island, like I'm on the island a lot. Now, uh, you know, we got the Blue Book Cartel. We got uh, Mr. Flip Flop himself, Greg in the group. Man, this dude been on the island 15, I mean, 13, 13, 15 years, I don't know. You can go to this cat, man. This cat gonna know a lot of them chicks, man. It's a good person to know. So seek the locals, man. You can ask me if I know, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tap you in, hey man, that's one on one, you wife for night, you know, but if it's somebody good and people don't know her, man, it's, it's good, man. So seek that local in sight look let me tell you man remember these things man everything i just dropped to you remember to do it man that social media um watch that social media man it will tell you a lot man look i remember liking this chick that name was kim and she tried to act like a regular chick man and let me tell you once i got her whole name you know she tried to play like goody two, two shoes man I got her whole name and I start like first 48 tech. Cause I actually, I was digging her a little bit. Man, I saw this girl was posing in hoochie mama stuff, man. She on the beach. She was, she was a working chick, man. Trying to pass herself off. When I'm, when I met her, she dressed like a nun. But when I'm leaving, she a demon, you know what I'm saying? And I'm looking at that social media, man. So I, 
I had to let that go. I did pop it because I told you I don't let I don't let pork chops go to waste, man. So, but if you do these things, man, you won't be lost and turned out. You won't be like I'm telling you, man. You won't be like the whispers, lost and turned out. I'm telling you, this can happen to you, man. So, these are ways not to get catfish, man. Verify, vet them like you're running for office, man. I want to keep this video as short as I could, just giving you brothers some little tips to help you, man. We about to start a members thing, man. We're gonna drop more videos on the members, man. It's gonna be good. It's, it's gonna be cheap, very cheap. Cause we about to do the live streams finally, man. Um, I told you I'm on my way to America. I got all the live stream stuff there. I'm gonna bring it back, but I'm gonna start in America doing these live streams, man. And I appreciate you guys hitting the cash apps, man. Buying your boy a beer. You don't know how far $2 go, man. It's better than the DR, so it's all good, man. Appreciate you guys, man. Join the Blue Book Cartel, man. We getting bigger and bigger. We almost got 1,800 people in there. We want to keep building it up with people that want to help each other. No haters allowed. Uh, some people I don't even let in because I look at the energy off, and I, we don't want that. We want brothers that's about building uh, YouTube businesses, uh, traveling together, working together, man. So we out. This was a short video, man. I got much love and respect for you guys, man. Peace out.